So uh, I'm Matilde Fontanina, I'm a librarian at the University of Trieste and I'm currently on a sabbatical leave because I'm attending a PhD program. I'm Library and Information Science. Uh, it's my first time at OER, OE Global, and I think it's a great thing for a librarian to attend this conference. There are many librarians, you find a lot of connections. And um, I think this conference, uh, I think librarians should have a more active role in open educational resources. Maybe it's not something we worry about, we worry about open access. Uh, if I think of the situation in Italy, yesterday our, the president of our National Library Association, Rosa Maiello, uh, also said that um, we should do something like that as a library association. Because open educational resources should simply, I mean, when information goes digital, librarians deal with digital information. Because we deal with information basically, no matter what format it is produced into. So we can go to um, absolutely uh, catalog open educational resources in order to increase their availability and uh, yes be helpful to our users in that sense support teaching and be teachers ourselves teaching information literacy through open educational resources which then can be shared well i think it's very important to get out of your day-to-day -day routine and discover that there's a professional community uh, which is from your field or from a different field because but the, we have the same goals uh, from my s particular point of view inside university I can say university governance would take a great of advantage from various kinds of professionals inside university various roles uh, cooperating and uh, support of librarians is useful for research, also for the so-called university's third mission, to bring out resources uh, to the local territory. What I found here, I can speak about my personal takeaways from this conference. I found a lot of resources I didn't know, amazing, which I'm going to absolutely spread. I speak about concrete resources like for example the simulations on how to teach maths that the University of Boulder presented yesterday or so. I also came became aware that there is a network, a European network of OER librarians and they invited me to join to be more active. So I think more than reading or looking up at videos, being personally there and being able to make contact to create um, bridges for further for further collaborations would increase not just single individual uh, point of view, but uh, w w what is the contribution we can bring back home to our institutions. Well, I think in Italy, as I was saying earlier, they have a lot to do, a lot of work to do. Uh, there is not a real connection yet. But I know from the Library Association, as we discussed yesterday with Rosa Mariello, they, they were thinking of putting up a group. One of the roles could be to preserve resources, because I hear I heard a lot about uh, the ped pedagogical impact of open educational resources, the worries of teaching, um, focus on the learners, and that's all very important. But after we create these resources, if they need to be reusable, they must be somewhere. So the problem of preservation, I think it's a perspective that uh, librarians can bring to the conversation. And also because, well, according to IFLA Code of Ethics, the mission of librarians is twofold. On the one hand, uh, we collect information and organize it and make it usable and findable, retrievable. On the other hand, we teach users, we lead users to that information and uh, we enable their evaluation of that information and the, mm, yes, a critical evaluation. And that's a soft skill which goes beyond the time of our lives when we are studying or researching for, with a learning goal in, in our heads. It should become an attitude which imbibes the building of citizenship, of active and awareness of uh, the fact that there's a lot of information circulating and not all that information is 
reliable. And I think this kind of attitude is fundamental in a world which is becoming more and more full of digital information, news, call it fake news. We may call it as we like, but that's the core of the issue.